Hey everyone, I'm Hugo and I'm going to present uh, automatic updates for teleport agents coming in preview in Teleport 13. With this feature, we are trying to address two uh, use cases uh, to issues. The first one is uh, for customers with large deployments. They have a lot of agents and it's taking a lot of time and uh, they have to build automation to be able to update all their agents. And the second issue is for cloud. Uh, because we are maintaining teleports, uh, the teleport cluster for cloud users, and we are updating the teleport version, and we want to update the, them to update the agents, but they have to constantly update, and we have to chase them for them to update. So in order to scale better, we want to just be able to push the updates to them. So life will be easier for them because they won't have to update, and it will be easier for us because we won't have to contact them. Uh, in Teleport 13, we will uh, support two deployment methods, uh, APT and YUM installation on systemd distros, so Debian, Ubuntu, Red Hat, CentOS, Amazon Linux, and Kubernetes installation with the Teleport Kubeagent charts. The feature was deploy developed to be cloud-first, but it's also available for on-prem. Uh, just for cloud, you have really minimal configuration, it's going to work out of the box, and you have Teleport Discover support. This means if you open Teleport Discover and add a new node in the UI, you will end up with the uh, node automatically enrolled uh, into agent automatic updates, which is not the case for on-prem yet. Uh, the UI integration might come later. And we are also not providing an open source package yet. Uh, this, this might happen next. The way it works, uh, each agent has its own updater. The updater is a separate binary from the agent. We want the agent, let's say we push a broken version, and the, the agent becomes broken, we want the agent to be broken, but the updater to still be able to update the agent. So this way we can push a new version which fix, fixes the issue and the agent will recover. We don't want to have to contact customers, so they have to run manual commands on all agents. Um, either the customer for on-prem uh, setups or cloud sets the maintenance window in Teleport and Teleport advertise this maintenance, with this maintenance window to all the agents. The, ag the agents are um, reporting uh, their maintenance windows in a file or a Kubernetes secret, and the updater is checking this secret. If we are in a maintenance window, the updater knows that it can try to update the agent if there is a new version. The updater will try to update the version in two other cases, uh, if the agent is an LC, because let's say, for example, we pushed a broken version and updating a new version might fix the issue, so we, we want to update if the agent is on LC, we're not going to disrupt anything anyway. And if the, version, if the new version is, is more critical, let's say we have a security issue which is currently being exploited, we want to fix all agents as soon as possible, so we can flag a maintenance as critical. Once the maintenance is triggered, uh, we are going to look at the version. Uh, it's hosted in the S3 bucket. The updater gets the version and compares the version with what is currently running. If the version is different, it's going to use apt yum, or for, uh, for Kubernetes, it's going to update the deployment uh, to be able to, uh, to, to update uh, the system, the agent. The updater is triggered every 30 minutes uh, at most, so it means we have one hour long maintenances and we know that at least one tick will happen during the hour window. We have one uh, difference for the Kubernetes agent uh, updates. Um, the updater is also verifying signatures because APT YUM are doing signature validation and Kubernetes does not. So we have to do it to ensure that the update is coming from a trusted source. And this implies today we, are, uh, we have two sets of images with Teleport 13. We have uh, the legacy images, the one we used before, and we have the distroless images. Distroless are uh, um, slimmer and more secure images, um, and the distroless one are signed, so the agent uh, will use the distroless versions. If you are a customer and want to enroll into automatic updates, the path will differ whether you're on-prem or cloud. For cloud users, you should not have to do anything uh, if you're on a tenant with automatic update support enabled. Uh, what we are going to do, we are going to enable automatic update for the new tenants created, uh, and we'll validate that it's working for them and fix all the existing issues. And once we'll be happy with the results, we'll be able to go back to the existing customer and migrate them to automatic updates. For on-prem uh, customers, they, if they want to use automatic updates, they will have to host their own version server and declare the cluster maintenance config manually. So they have to say when they want the agent to be updated 
And once they've done that, they'll be able to enroll agents into automatic updates and deploy updaters. I'm going to demo an agent being automatically updated. So I already uh, joined a Kubernetes agent to my Teleport Cloud tenant, uh, which has uh, automatic update enables, enabled. And I'm currently running, so we see we are running three pods, the two agents and the updater. And the agents are running the alpha 2 release. So now I'm going to edit the target version here um, to ask for the release candidate one. And it might take a couple of seconds to be propagated. Okay, so now we are serving, we are asking the agent to serve, to connect to release candidate one. And if I get the pods, nothing happens because the updater is only reconciling every 30 minutes or reconciling when an event happened. And as both pods are ready, nothing is, is happening and it's been like deployed for since two minutes. So the updater is not updating anything. So either I can wait 30 minutes or I can edit or trigger an, uh, an event for the updater to wake up. So I'm going to edit the stateful set and add an annotation. This will send an update event and the updater will start updating. So reload, uh, go, and here we go. So now I see that one of the agents has been restarted and the other one will run until the first agent is back healthy and then the second agent will be updated. So it should happen soon, yeah. So the, sec the first agent has been updated and the second one is being updated. And if I take a look at which ver version is running now, we are running release candidate one and before it was alpha two. So that's it. If you have any question, um, this is uh, we have three dedicated pages in the documentation. Uh, the first one is the architecture page, um, agent update management. This describes from a high level point of view um, the different, uh, how the updaters are working and why we design them to work this way. And we have two other guides, one to set up self-hosted automatic agent updates. So this, um, this is for enterprise users who want to run their own version server and run their, uh, and configure their own maintenance windows. So this guide is dedicated for them. And then we have the enroll your, uh, your agent into automatic updates guide, which is here. And this guide uh, is for all users, and this describes how to enable automatic updates per agent. 